Okay, now I didn't cleanse the room. Okay, before we get started, my name is Tariq Ali. Hi, how are you? <laughs> my name is Tariq Ali, okay? I'm six feet, blonde hair, neck tattoo. I'm hard to miss, okay? How are you doing today? Are you feeling positive? Are you feeling happy? Are you complimenting yourself? Um, I hope so. These are all of the things that you need to be doing, okay? But um, today, we're going to be talking about all of the zodiac signs, so I needed to cleanse my room, okay? Because when you, when you conjure up all these different spirits, and energies, girl, we gotta make sure that the ones coming in are good ones, okay? I don't wanna talk bad about some of y'all, and y'all got all these spirits coming into my, this is where I live, okay? This is where I make money, he too, okay? So, look, this is gonna be a fun video, I'm just gonna be honest, and we're gonna get, we're gonna have a good time. I don't wanna talk too much, okay? So let, let this title card run, okay? And we're gonna get right into it. Okay, so before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're drinking red wine today, okay? You know I drink wine in all my videos, girl. It gets the vibe. Do you have your wine? I want to know what your sign is, okay? Go in the comments. Let me know what's your sign. Which, what's your tea, girl? Who's your least favorite? Who's your favorite? I want to know. Ah. She's dry. I like it. She's dry. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. As I do get into these signs, like, yeah, we do have our own signs, but we also have risings. We also have moons. And then we're also affected by who raised us. Okay, so Aries. Aries, what did I say? Okay, so I have a good amount of Aries friends. I really do. Like, um, one of my best friends is Aries, so he pretty much gonna probably think I'm dragging him, but I'm not dragging you, girl. But Aries, I would say, y'all are supposed to be good leaders, but I feel like y'all are just, like, self-centered. I feel like... <laughs> It's just the truth. I feel like a lot of Aries, they're just really into themselves. And it's like, yeah, they might be good leaders. Like, I feel like they are good people when you listen to them. Like, they can lead a group. But they don't lead, like, to a place where it's good for everybody. They usually just lead to a place where they want to go. It's usually, like, a more of a self-centered thing than it is, like, a, oh, let's all be good. It's kind of a, like, a, I think this is best. So we're gonna go there. All of the Aries I know are just really to themselves. Like they can be with a group, they are fun with other people, but they enjoy their own company more. And I feel like they don't really share with other people. They're they're kind of that friend that just sits there and listens to everybody else's business, but they don't really share much of their own business. They're very independent people, but the thing is like they'll rather struggle than to ask for help. Like, they just, you have to, like, really beg them to help them. It's very weird. I also feel like they feel like being emotional is, like, a weakness. Like, I feel like they really look at it like, oh, you're so emotional, you're weak. But, so as a Scorpio, it really bothers me. So I don't really think I could be, like, in a relationship with them. But they are good friends. <laughs> okay, Tauruses. Um, I'm gonna try my best not to be biased, but my ex is a Taurus. And my ex, you know, I've never been in a relationship, but somebody I talked to for a very long time. He was a Taurus and um, Tauruses are just the biggest gaslighters that I know. Like they will really say things or do things to make you upset or like they not even to make you upset, but they'll know it'll make you upset. But then when you get upset, they'll act all confused or like, why are you so upset? Why are you so? And like, they just like to be right. They like to argue. And it's like, they will never admit when they're wrong. And if they do admit that they're wrong, it's because they have no other choice. Like, for example, I'm good at cutting people off. So it's like, if I cut them off and don't talk to them for months or whatever, they will finally come back and say it, but it will be a long time. They don't like, they don't like admitting that they're wrong. They're so stubborn, but they are very personal with people. Like they will, they're really good with conversations and I feel like they are very strong-minded. They know who they are. They make you feel understood. Tauruses, I feel like all Tauruses just help me feel understood. And I'm a Scorpio. Like, you know, we're a good match and everything. But it's just like, they don't, they have a problem with like being emotional. It's like, I feel like they're emotional deep inside. But like, they have a problem with expressing like emotions. Or I don't know, to them, they just don't do it that much. But they are great people to talk to. So, great friends. Um, dating wise, I could date a Taurus. I could. I can deal with them. Like, I can deal with all that bullshit because I'm a Scorpio. Like, girl, what? what? Okay, so Gemini's. <laughs> girl, Gemini's are crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. Gemini's are crazy, and I feel like that's the best way to sum it up. Like, 
But um, I know they get like the worst rap. Like I know Gemini's get the most shit talked about them. But Gemini's are honestly one of the best friends to have. Like they will defend you when you're not there. Like they will go bat to bat for you when you're not even there. Or if you were to never find out, they will still defend you. Like Gemini's are that friend that if your boyfriend cheated on you, they will throw a brick at their car. Like at your ex's car or something like that or at their window. Like they will fight your boyfriend for you. Like they are just crazy as hell. So they're good friends. They're loyal they're very, very loyal friends. They're very personable. They make you feel comfortable. They make you feel loved. I love Gemini's as friends, even though they're crazy. But I do feel like Gemini's lie about the dumbest shit. Like, I feel like Gemini's, they're just so... They're just good storytellers. Like, they tell a lot of stories, and sometimes that includes lies. And I don't feel like they tell the whole truth. Like, they'll tell you something, but only tell you something to, like, steer a narrative, but leave out important facts that would change the whole situation. And I feel like they just lie about stupid shit. Like, stupid shit that you know they're lying about, but you just don't say anything because it's just, like, it won't change anything. So, I'm just going to let you lie. Like, I'm just going to let you lie because it makes you feel good, but I know you're lying, but I'm not going to say anything. That's a Gemini. Okay, cancers. Cancers are too emotional for me. Like, I, girl, girl, stop crying. Stop crying, girl, please. Girl, what is you mad about? I didn't say anything about you, girl. Cancers, we water sisters. Okay, I'm a Scorpio. I said it a billion times at this point. But look, y'all are just too emotional. Y'all take everything personal. Y'all t- take things that don't even have anything to do with y'all personal. Like, y'all are complete crybabies. So, but I will say, because y'all are so emotional, y'all are great friends. Because, because you know, we all need a shoulder to cry on, to cry with us, girl, when we crying. And that will be a cancer, bitch. If you start crying, bitch, they most likely will start crying. So, <laughs> a cancer, good for friends. But I don't see myself dating a cancer, only because, like, I just can't deal with the passiveness. And I can't deal with the sensitivity, because I'm going to say how I feel. And I feel like, when I do that, you're going to, like internalize everything like if i don't text a cancer back all day instead of them thinking oh he's probably busy they're gonna think oh he's probably mad at me or what did i do like girl internalizing everything girl it ain't got nothing to do with you okay so i'll be honest I, don't, I haven't had like the most um experiences with leos but from what i picked up from leos they just love attention like i feel like leos like i feel like they deserve the attention i feel like leos are very like strong-minded well honestly mm. Well, no, strong-minded person, people. I would say they're very strong-minded, passionate, and they're very prominent in a room, and they just love attention. But the thing is, like, most people, most people love sex, and most people love chocolates and, like, a relationship and everything. Leos, I feel like if you just sit there and admire them and give them attention, they'll feel like they just had sex. Like, they just love attention. They're attention whores. And they usually deserve it, but it's just, I don't know, most people see this as, like, a bad thing, but to me, it's kind of admirable. Only because, like, in my life, like, I'm black and I'm gay, so, like, in a life where a lot of people hate you just because of, like, how you look and who you love, um, it's admirable to see people just so into themselves. As a friend, I'm already an attentive friend. I give people attention, my friends' attention, I communicate, I'm here for them, so I usually am good friends with Leos because I usually give them what they need. Now, a love life, girl, I don't know if I could be in a relationship with a Leo. Virgos. <laughs> Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. Okay, look, let me tell you about Virgos. I like Virgos. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with Virgos. Like, I feel like Virgos, like, y'all are the most inspiring sign. Like, when I see y'all are the most inspiring, Virgos usually do amazing things. Like, they just are amazing. They're very knowledgeable. They're very smart. Very strategic. Very calculated. So, they're very, like, inspirational in, like, the brain realm. Um, but they just don't like being wrong. They like correcting you on things that you didn't ask for. They like telling you facts about people, shit that people don't care about. They just like knowing shit. And it's not even about, like, facts. It's just like knowing shit about you also. Knowing, it doesn't even have to be true, bitch. They just like knowing that they know things. And it bothers me. They like knowing things so bad that they hate being wrong. Like, they will literally fight with you to the death of them until they're right. Like, if a Virgo says, oh, the sky was red, I'd be like, bitch, the sky is blue. If I take a picture of the sky and say it's blue, show a Virgo, they'll be like, hmm, well, in my dream, I saw a red sky. So technically, I'm not wrong because I saw a red sky. Bitch, what? Like, Virgos, girl, they just like being right. And they will not admit when they're wrong. Never. They won't admit it. And I, they just are very strong-minded people. Strong to a point where it's anno annoying. And I just... 
Girl, you need a lot of patience for a Virgo. Like a Virgo and a Scorpio, we just too strong together, girl, that we usually, we make it along. But it's gonna take some time and it's gonna take some effort. I also would say Virgos are the least personal people on the whole chart. Like, I just feel like Virgos, like, they have personality, but they don't have the boldest personalities. Like, and they don't have the boldest emotional capacities or emotional abilities. Like, I feel like a Virgo is not someone that you go to when you're going through something in life. Like, when it comes to your emotions, because they just will only be a realist and idealist and they just will give you like facts. I feel like Virgos are someone you go to when your business is not working out, you know? Like things like that, calculated shit. I don't feel like they're really good on the emotional side and personable side. Like they're not really good with empathizing and shit like that. Like they may feel bad, but they not really the best people to go for that. Okay, so I don't really know much about Libra and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you like one of those sidekick readers, girl. I'm not gonna like look up the horoscope and just read it and tell you what I think, bitch. I don't know much about Libras. My daddy a Libra, that's probably the only Libra I know. I probably know more Libras, but my dad is the only Libra and I would just be projecting how I feel about my daddy. So I'm not about to sit here and tell y'all about Libras. I'm sorry, Libras, I love you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe I need some more Libras in my life. Scorpio. <laughs> Okay, so look, I'm a Scorpio, so like, okay, so I'm gonna be a real honest Scorpio though. Like, I'm not about to sit here, sit here and big up myself, but I'm gonna just tell the truth on how I feel. Like, I feel like out of the water signs, like we're all emotional. I feel like this is how it goes. I feel like Cancers use their emotions as like a weakness. I feel like they just cry so much. <laughs> Damn, I hate the drag Cancers, but I just feel like Cancers use it more of like a burden. Like they use it to like really exhaust their emotions. Like they cry and things like that. Like they just become weaker with their emotions. I feel like Pisces, they show up because of their emotions. They're very emotional and sensitive, but they show up and they disconnect and distance themselves. I feel like Scorpios are like the fire waters. Like we are like, we use our emotions as like a superpower and as fuel to beat you bitches up. You know what I mean? Like we just use, <laughs> like I just feel like we use our emotions as superpowers. And that's why we come off like so devious to people and like so like manipulative. It's only because we are in control of emotions. Scorpio is also like we light our own energy. Like we honestly don't need nobody else to light our energy. Like we light our own fire. We know how to give ourselves the big up and everything like that. But we also do that for the people around us. Like all of our friends. Like Scorpios are usually that, that person in your group of friends that like empower somebody else to do what they want to do like we are just radiating energy that is just like powerful strong but i will say because we are so in control of our emotions we do tend to be we do tend to become like a little controlling of situations and people but the thing is with scorpios like if we meet our match like if we meet somebody else who's just as strong-minded just as capable then we calm down but i will say scorpios usually do not get along with like like weak-minded people like and i don't want to say weak-minded like that just comes off wrong Passive people, like people that are just like that, like passive and everything, we usually will control you unintentionally because we're so strong-minded and so passionate that usually we will steer you and not, you just be in our car, bitch. Like, you don't, you're not even in your own car, bitch. I'm like, okay, I got a back seat. You can be in the back because we're caring, bitch. You can be in the back seat. But we li literally just lead you where we're going. Sagittarius is like, I feel like they're just as crazy as Gemini's. They need to get just as much bad rap as Gemini's because they they are so fun to be around like Sagittarius they are fun they're funny they're energetic they usually have like a lot of passion in them but they have so many damn different personalities to me like I feel like and it's not even that they're being fake I just feel like you get a different vibe or a different person every time you see them not every single time but like you can like pinpoint the different moves that they have or the different vibes they have and they use these different personalities to their advantage to get what they want. I feel like Sagittarius's are very, very, very goal oriented. Like they know what they want and they will not stop until they get what they want. And they use all those different personalities to get it. Like they know how to be, oh, puppy dog eyes when they want something and they know when to be a bitch when they want to get something. But one thing you can't take from Sagittarius is like they have huge hearts. They like have huge hearts. Like when they love you, they love you. When they're down for you, they're down for you. But at the same time, they're so narcissistic in a way that like no matter how much they love other people, I feel like Sag is like when they want something, they really want it and they'll go at all costs to get it. Like they're the only expense that they won't use. Like they'll use everybody else. They'll sacrifice a whole friendship for 20 years to do something that they really want or get something they really want. 
if nobody finds out about it, but if everybody finds out about it, they remorseful. But at the same time, they did it and they own it. <laughs> they just wanted their girl. Capricorns. So I think Capricorns are very diligent people. I feel like Capricorns are very like huge work ethic. Like they have an amazing, hold up girl, is it focus? Yeah. I feel like they have an amazing work, work ethic and they're really grounded people and they are who they are. Like when you meet them, you get, you get what you get when you meet them and like, if you don't talk to them for five years and see them again in five years, they're probably the same person. And that's a good and a bad thing, sis. They're very sincere and like, you can tell that they mean everything that they, they say and I don't feel like they'll say anything that they don't mean. But at the same time, they're not the funnest people. Like they're not the funnest people to like go to parties with or do some dumb shit with. They're just very logical, grounded people. It can be boring. I honestly think that like a good amount of them care a lot about what people think about them. And it's just all like a status thing. They just like success and they care about how other people view that success and they want to make sure that people see that success. So I would say they are like good people to be friends with because they are sincere. You get what you get. They're, they are who they are. They don't switch it up. Um, they're good to build with, um, but for dating, I don't really know how that would go. I would try it. I would try everyone, but I just don't know how that would go. Okay, so Aquarius. I like Aquarius because I feel like Aquarius and Virgos are like fraternal twins. Like, I feel like they're the same person, but just with a twist, like, like different in a way. Like, I feel like the difference between a Virgo and Aquarius, like, I feel like Virgos are very, like, egotistical, and I feel like, like, Aquarius is have like a passion when they argue. Like when you argue with a Virgo, it's more of like an ego thing. Like they're having an ego moment. Like they just want to be right. But I feel like when you argue with like an Aquarius, it's more of like a passion thing where like they really, really feel deeply about this because it's the right thing to them rather than it being like a I'm right type of thing. So it's like, I don't know. Like I just feel like they care about the world and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's just more of a bigger deal to them. Like if they are right, like they like being right. Like just like the Virgos and everything. But it's just like, I feel like it's usually for a good reason. It's not just like a personable reason. I usually get along with Aquariuses because I'm a very deep person and I like to have like in intellectual conversations. So me and Aquariuses always just vibe because like we can just be on the same frequency and have the same conversations and go deep while other signs really struggle to do that. Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, I feel like Pisces, like my water sister, you know what I mean? What's up sis, what's up? I feel like Pisces, they are, they are like an egg to me. Like, well, not an egg. Well, yeah, like an egg. I don't know, like, Pisces, you just gotta really crack open their egg. Like, they usually are like the most, I won't say the most, but they are just like to themselves. Like, they'll hang out with people and they know how to put on like a fake face. But at the end of the day, they have like a different layer to them that they really don't share with most people. Like, you have to be really close with them, to them. And like, being that my best friend is a Pisces, like, I feel like after, and like a lot of my friends that are Pisces, I feel like after you take the time to get to know them, they're really worth it. Like they're really nice, great people, um, but they just use their emotions. They're very sensitive, but when they get hurt or when they get offended or something like that, when their emotions come intact, they pull away. Like they really pull away. They shut down, they get quiet. Um, or they just keep a lot of things to themselves. Like they'll rather lie to you about the emotions than tell the truth because it's just like, they just want to disconnect so bad. So like, they're very stubborn. You can't give them any advice. Girl, they feel how they feel. Um, but I will feel like Pisces at the end of the day will tell you if you were right after a situation. Like, I feel like they are strong enough to be like, okay, you was right. But they usually learn things the hard way. Like they are not the type where you can give advice and they'll take it and be like, you know what, Tariq said this, so I ain't gonna do that. No, they're gonna do it regardless and then they're gonna come after afterwards after they learn the hard way and be like, okay girl, you was right. Okay, so that's it, that was fast. I don't know why I expected it to be way longer, but oh well. So look, that's what I think about all the signs. I want us to all remember, like I said, you know, like even though we do have our own signs, we have risings, we have moons, and we also have those influences by what we were raised by and our best friends. So like there's a lot of different influences, influencers in our life that change us and our personalities. Like we are complex. So remember that you are not monolithic, girl. You are complex. So take the time to get to know yourself. My name is Tariq Ali. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.